Welcome to the demo session of learndatamodeling.com. In this demo session, I'll try to explain about a table, column, primary key constraint, and as well as foreign key constraint. When you look at this table, you can see doctor ID, doctor name, and as well as date and stamp. These are called as columns, and I mentioned it as column 1, column 2, and as well as column 3. And each column has got values. You can see D1, D2, D3, and D4 for doctor ID and Dr. Williams, Dr. Elizabeth for Dr. Name and date time stamp also, you have got some values. What is date time stamp here? The date on which this record was inserted or created or updated, that is what uh, the date time stamp column denotes. Now horizontally, you can see D1, Dr. Williams and the date, D2, Dr. Elizabeth and as well as the date. Now horizontally, whatever you see here, those are called as records and vertically whatever you see those are called as columns that is what i define here what is a table a table contains columns and records doctor id doctor name and date and stamp are columns and this table contains four records in this example you also see some of the things highlighted in yellow color and i'm trying to impose a constraint called as primary key on this doctor underscore id column so before going into this primary key just i would like to define what is null and what is not null so that you will have a clarity about primary key now doctor name we are very much sure that doctor name column will always have values so this column should be imposed with a not null constraint that's what i'm trying to do here not null means always values are to be filled in this column if we don't fill values then the system will pop up and give an error message stating that you did not fill values we are not able to create this record that's what you have to do now what is a primary key constraint primary key is a constraint which will not allow duplicate values and null values that means when primary key is imposed on this column dot id always values are to be entered that is the number one and second one is it will not allow duplicate values for example you have got d1 d2 d3 and d4 and if you're trying to insert another doctor id with the d1 as an id then it will violate and it will say that unique constraint violated so these are the two key parameters of the primary key when the same primary key is created in oracle database three things are done first an unique constraint is created second a not null constraint is created and also an index is created now this primary key is imposed on only one column so it is not a composite primary key if the primary key is imposed on multiple columns, then it is called as composite primary key constraint. Now let us see this example with the DDL script. Now you have this uh, syntax for Oracle. And uh, when you see the syntax, it says create table Oracle. That means create table is a syntax. Doctor is a table name doctor id is a column name varchar2 is a data type and this doctor id is going to hold three characters and that is why it is represented as three within the parenthesis and we are saying not null then doctor name varchar is the data type and 50 is the number of characters it can hold again we have defined as not null and third one is date and stamp is going to contain only date values so we do have date as not null here the first step what we do here is we create a table called doctor and after that we are creating a primary key here what is the primary key here alter table doctor that means alter table syntax doctor is a table name add constraint is the syntax pk doctor doctor id that is a primary key name and primary key is a syntax and doctor id is a column in a nutshell we are trying to impose this primary key on this column called doctor underscore id which is placed in this table called as doctor and after that the we do have insert values let me like try to open oracle sql plus and see whether we are able to execute this command or not i have uh, installed oracle on my machine so just like that i open that one Now to log in, I'm using the system privileges. Then I type the password. I 
I'm connecting to another user C hash hash data underscore modeling then password now to know to which user I'm connected I'm using this command show user it says C hash hash data underscore modeling and what I'm trying to do here I'm going to copy the script create table and copy it here in Oracle so it says name is already used by an existing object that means I do have an object already and that is why I get this error message so what I do first of all I will try to drop the table drop table doctor now again it is giving me an error message unique primary keys is table reference by foreign keys that means I have some other tables connected to this doctor table and that is why you get this error message so first of all we have to break the relationship between this doctor table and other tables what I do here this is a command by which I'm used, trying to break the relationship now the table doctors drop in the next step what I do is whatever I copied from here again I will try to execute the same commands in this Oracle SQL plus window and it says table created then the next step what I do here is I'm going to create the primary key now I got the message table altered that means this primary key constant is created so you came to know what is a primary key what is a table let me clear the screen so that I can type more information now I go to another table which has got composite primary keys so from there you will be able to understand what I am trying to explain you now let me go to this table called as create table medicine administered okay name is already used by an existing object that's what it says fine so what I will do again I will try to drop this table So I have dropped the table here again I am trying to create this table so it says table created then the next step is I would like to create a primary key what does primary key means here medicine name clinic ID doctor ID and as well as patient ID visit date on these five columns I am trying to create a primary key since this primary key is imposed on many columns it is called as composite primary key constraint now you got the message table altered that means a composite primary key is created on these five columns with this medicine administered table in the next step what I do here then I'm trying to create a foreign key and if you see this syntax let me explain to you let me copy this one it says table altered if you see this one what I'm trying to do medicine administered that's a table alter table that is a syntax add constraint that is syntax this is a foreign key name fk01 then foreign key is a syntax then what I do here clinic ID doctor ID patient ID visit date from this table medicine administered references another table called as patient visit where it has got four columns clinic ID, doctor ID, patient ID and as well as visit ID for ID what do you understand from this relationship patient ID is the master table and medicine administered is a child table the values that are going to be in medicine administered on these four columns will always refer the values from the parent entity and that is what 
a composite foreign key relationship is because a composite foreign key has been imposed on one or many columns. So this is a high level overview about this uh, primary key and as well as foreign key tables. Now before starting the data modeling career, everyone has to understand the basic concepts of table creation, primary keys, foreign keys, unique constraints, check constraints, and so on, because these are the objects which you are going to create frequently in the data model. We have a uh, lot of slides regarding the database, how to understand the database structures and how to create it. If you're interested in our uh, training, kindly reach us at learndatamodeling.com. Thanks. Bye.